to introduce you to um, probably a method that you've seen before, at least read about on the boards and maybe even on YouTube, is uh, doing an optical bench sink of uh, carbs. But I've got a different idea. Um, and it's something that I feel worked for me and maybe it'll work for you. So here you've got a standard. Uh, this is off a of 2002 uh, Suzuki Katana 750. So your standard uh, Makuni carbs. Um, <clears throat> so uh, what I have back here is a blinking strobe LED flashlight, right? I'm leaving that on. And I've got a roll. It, well, I really just need a cardboard too because this is where my eye is going to focus. Um, I'm going to be using that blinking strobe to help me uh, do a carb sink. Um, so what I want to do is block out the rest of the light, so that's why I'm going to use this tube right here because it's nice and dark. Okay, So I'll show you what to look for and uh, how to set it up. So this carb here, um, is the butterfly is adjusted by the idle screw back here and the rest of the carbs have their own individual uh, adjustment screw right so we have to set this one the way we want it and then align the rest of them according to this and then the idle will um, will move all of them uh, so anyhow uh, to begin with I've got this carb with a flashlight behind it, right? And uh, so what I'm looking for is how much light is coming through there. <clears throat> so I can see this a lot better if I look through the tube. And I can see there's a little bit of blinking light right there. So I want to cut that off. I want to make it to just exactly the amount where I don't see any light. So I'm going to try that real quick uh, by moving the uh, doing it with one hand obviously is never easy. I'm going to move my fuel. There we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if I see more blinking. So I get my tube back here, stick it in the camera. Now I'm going to take a look through my eyeball. And I do not see any blinking. So now I need to adjust each one of these to where I just, the, the absolute point where I don't see any more blinking. That one's actually pretty good. I, I kind of synced these earlier, but uh, uh, I can see a little bit, a little tiny bit. So let's let's take a really good look in here. I just can't see it with the uh, camera. Hold on. Let me look in here. I see a tiny, tiny bit. I just barely. Um, so your eyes are going to be really sensitive to this, and. Uh, Possibly, in my opinion, possibly more sensitive than a uh, dial gauge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Um, and take another look and see if I see that blinking again. I don't. Um, so I think this one's good. And I would just continue the process for uh, these two right here. So um, possibly uh, uh, another way that you could do this. Uh, your eyeballs are incredibly sensitive to light, especially looking through a very dark tube like this. Um, I would almost bet it's more sensitive than one of those manometers. But um, anyhow, I uh, hope this helps.